question is from Doctors Vermin. When you reach a point you stop gaining weight, how do you get over that point? Is it better to back off of your calorie intake or increase it even more? Okay, so kind of related to the first one, but I'll, the first question we did. But I'll tell you what: if you stop gaining weight, the first place I would look would be your workout. That would be the first place. Now, diet plays a huge role here. It, it, it certainly does. But the first thing I would look at is: is my workout as effective as it can be? Because at the end of the day, I remember when I first broke this down. Gaining a pound of muscle a week, which is a ton, okay? If you gain a pound of muscle a week, you're either genetically gifted or on anabolic steroids or a complete beginner and you just start lifting weights. You can't expect to gain four pounds of that muscle. That is not going to last. No, but let's just say you did. Let's say you were gaining a pound of lean muscle every single week, okay? Let's say this was you. That would require an extra, I think it was something like 15 grams of protein a day or something silly like that. Like it's nothing. And that's if you gained a tremendous amount of muscle, four pounds every single month. Um, your, your body doesn't need all these extra calories to gain lean body mass. It needs a signal that, to build that muscle first. Um, and I, I remember, you know, going through this process myself or I would be doing a workout for a long, 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 long time. Then I'd change my workout. My diet wouldn't change. I would change my workout though. It'd be more effective and boom, you know, two pounds of lean body mass would, would come onto my body. So that's the first thing that I would say is is look at your workout and look there first. If you're not getting stronger, you're not building muscle, um, because here's what happens. If the workout's not effective and you just keep bumping your calories, you know what's going to end up happening? You're just going to gain body fat. And you see this a lot. Uh, guys tend to fall for this where they're doing the bulk and they come in and they're like, oh, man, you know, I, I was on this crazy bulk for like three months and I gained – 25 pounds, you know, and then you do your body fat test. You're like, actually, you gained three pounds of lean body mass and the rest was body fat. And then when you try and shed that body fat, you end up losing the fat and all the, the muscle that you gain and you're back Some, where you were before. It's misleading because, yeah, you, a lot of times you are gaining that weight. You're feeling good. You might be getting stronger. You think that like the majority of it's muscle, but it is like half the time it's like uh, mostly fat at, at a certain point that you're just gaining. Sometimes it's a bit of a mind fuck too to be like, constantly trying to gain weight, gain weight, gain weight. And something I used to do with uh, the competitors that I coached and myself uh, when I would get in a situation like this, I actually would throw in a, a single day fast on a day off. And uh, it sounds like it would be counter. counter yeah, it totally sounds counterintuitive to do this, right? Uh, but when you're constantly trying to chase the calories and you're stuffing and you feel like you're always overfeeding and you're just not getting enough, feel like you're not getting enough. Again, I, I feel like sometimes we're just, we're flirting with that line of like, oh, the body just doesn't want any more. So one of the, my favorite things, and I don't know if half of that is maybe a psychological uh, thing that we're dealing with too. Uh, it just, and this just works. It works really well for all the competitive athletes that I had. It works well for me when I was competing. Um, and that is what I would do is I would pick Saturday or Sunday or whatever day you normally have off from the gym and I would run a 24 hour fast and I would just fast for 24 hours. And then the next day when I started feeding and training again, I felt like my appetite would spike back up again. So, uh, it does seem uh, very counterintuitive to do that. Uh, but this is a strategy that's worked mm -hmm. really well for myself and, and people that I've coached and maybe something that you explore. Now, as far as workouts are concerned, I'll tell you this right here. Um, and, and this isn't always a hundred percent true, but it's a pretty consistently true, um, statement. Try to get stronger. Um, strength, Oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes, if you get stronger and stronger and stronger consistently, it's accompanied by more muscle, especially if you're beginner or intermediate. Now, when you get super advanced, oftentimes the strength gains you get come from better technique, better positioning, uh, you know, better CNS uh, signal. But if you're beginner intermediate and you're trying to gain weight, you're not getting stronger, change your workout out to try to get stronger. Focus on that. And you'll, and I used to notice this. It was like a, if I gain like 15 to 20 pounds on a lift, um, then I would notice an accompanying, you know, one pound of lean body mass or something like that. I actually have it written down I did, uh, when I was a kid. I noticed this like, when I go up 20 pounds on a lift, I gain like a pound uh, of muscle. Try to get stronger. If you're gaining weight and your strength isn't, go, is, uh, isn't going up, but you're gaining weight on the scale, I hate to say this, but you're, you get it's it's likely not always, but it's likely that you're, <laughs> you're getting body tubby. fat. Now you can gain muscle without getting stronger, 
but that's uh, you know that's much more tricky, um, and you'll see that more often in, in advanced lifters. So try to get stronger. If you get stronger, um, oftentimes you'll you'll gain muscle. Well, they never said lean weight, so that's true. You know, they could be wanting to get big. 